The Earth's lithosphere, which includes the crust and the upper mantle, is made up of a series of pieces or tectonic plates that move slowly over time. Hello my dear students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 10. Welcome to Quarter 1. Week 4, Module 4 of your Science 10. And for today's lesson vlog, we are going to discuss the types of plate boundaries. In your previous lesson, you've learned how to find the earthquake's epicenter using the triangulation method and the distance time graph. At gamit ang map, diniscuss din ninyo ang characteristics and locations ng mga active volcanoes, mountain ranges, and the earthquake zones or yung tinatawag nga natin na epicenter. Kaya naman, ano ba ang malalaman nyo sa lesson vlog na to? Stay tuned on this lesson vlog because in this lesson, you will identify and describe the different types of plate boundaries that will help you to understand the occurrence of an earthquake and the other geologic activities. Can you describe the following figure? This one. Figure 2 and Figure 3. Okay, how can you describe this figure? How does this figure differ from each other? How are the figures similar? May pagkakatulad ba sila? What did you notice with the spaces in between the two plates? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa vlog na ito. Sabi natin kanina, the Earth's lithosphere, which includes the crust and the upper mantle, is made up of series of pieces or the tectonic plates that move slowly over time. Ano ba pag sinabi nating tectonic plates? Sige, i-describe mo muna natin ang tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are pieces of Earth's crust and upper mantle at ito nga yung tinatawag natin na lithosphere. The plates are around 100 km thick. Imagine nyo kung gano'ng kakapal. Ano, pag sinabi natin thick yung thickness niya, 100 km, so para siyang Manila to Laguna. Ganun siya kahaba, ganun siya kakapal. So, and it consists of two principal types of materials. At ano-ano yung materials na yon We have the oceanic crust. Yung oceanic crust naman, tinatawag din itong sima from silicon and magnesium. And the other one is the continental crust, which is from silicon and aluminum. So, yun yung tinatawag natin na tectonic plate. So, sa so figure na pinakita ko, maaari nating sabihin na yung mga plates, nag-move apart sila sa kanilang boundary. Kita nyo naman na parang nagkaroon ng kumbaga hiwala yan. Ano? So, earthquakes occur along the fractures that appear as the plates move apart. And we have three types of plate boundaries. What are those? We have the convergent, divergent, and transform. Let us discuss first convergent plate boundary. When we say convergent plate boundary, so it is a boundary in which two plates move toward each other, causing one of the slabs of the lithosphere to subduct beneath an overriding plate. Anong ibig sabihin nun? When it comes to convergent plate boundary, tatandaan nyo lang ang tawag dito ay, di ba, two plates come together. So, ibig sabihin, let's say, for example, ito yung two plates. Wala akong example eh. So, ayan, come together. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, nag, nagkakaroon ng bungguan sa kanilang dalawa. So, yung plate, habang sila yung nagbubungguan, so, may, may kaunti dyan na kapag ginanan mo, so, may possibility na lumampas yung isa dito. Ay, parang ganto lang. Sa convergent plate boundary nga, so, since nagko-collide yung mga plates, ano, so, di ba, syempre, since nagbubungguan sila, so, ang tendency niyan is mag-buckle up yung mga dulo ng bawat plate, kaya ang tendency, 
parang magkaroon sila ng mga mountain ranges. Yun yung dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon ng mountain ranges. So, syempre, kapag nagbubunggoan yan, so, ang tendency is may tumataas ng konti. Yun yung nagiging mga mountain ranges. Okay, or one of the pl plates may bend. Okay, so, pwede ang tendency naman niya is since nagbubunggoan sila, so, parang may ma mapupunta sa ilalim at merong tataas naman pa ganan. Okay, one of the plates may bend down into the deep sea floor trench. And we can also say that a chain of volcanoes often forms parallel to the convergent plate boundaries. And sa mga ganitong klase ng boundaries or powerful earthquakes are common along this kind of plate boundaries. And the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire is one of the examples of convergion plate boundary. At convergion plate boundaries, oceanic crust is often forced down into the mantle where it begins to melt. Magma rises into and through the other plates, solidifying into granite, the rock that makes up the continents. Thus, at convergion boundaries, continental crust is created and oceanic crust is destroyed. Kung kanina sa convergent plate boundary, yung mga plates ay nagko-collide, nagbubungguan. When it comes to divergent plate boundary naman, it is a region where the crustal plates are moving apart. So, naghihiwalay naman sila. Ayan. So, kung ito yung plate boundary natin, so maghihiwalay yan. So, ganun naman ang tendency ng divergent plate boundaries. A divergent boundary occurs when two plates or when two tectonic plates move away from each other. So, along these boundaries, so, yung earthquakes are common and the magma, which is yung tinatawag natin ng mga molten rocks, so, they are, rise, they are rising or this magma rises from the earth's mantle to the surface, solidifying to create a new uh, oceanic crust. At ang example natin ng divergent tectonic plate is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So, this is the example of divergent. And the third one, we have the transform fault boundary. So, when it comes to transform fault boundary, this is a boundary produced when two plates slide past each other. So, at paano nangyari yun? So, pagana naman siya. So, let's say, for example, these are the two plates. So, ang tendency niyan ay mag, ayan, nag-slide sila. So, pagana na po. Okay, kung baga ganyan. Ayan, ganyan. One of the famous transform plate boundaries occurs at the San Andreas Fault. So, yan yung pinaka-common na transform, uh, transform fault which extends underwater. Natural or human-made structures that cross a transform boundary are offset, split into pieces, and carried in opposite directions. Rocks that line the boundary are pulverized as the plates grind along creating a linear fault valley or undersea canyon. Earthquakes are common along these faults. In contrast to convergent and divergent boundaries, crust is cracked and broken at transform margins but is not created or destroyed. What you see here is the picture showing the fault lines in the Philippines. Mapapansin nyo dyan na tuwing nagkakaroon ng earthquake, maaari nating i-presume na nagkakaroon ng paggalaw doon sa mga plates na naandun sa hanay na mga fault line. And syempre, yung occurrence ng mga earthquake, pag nagkakaroon ng earthquake, nakaka-apekto naman ito doon sa mga, uh, kumbaga sa bawat sulok o sa bawat edges na mga, pet, na mga tectonic plates na andun sa hanay ng mga fault line. Ano ba pag sinabi natin fault? Di ba sinabi natin na faults are cracks in the lithosphere caused by the stresses created as sections of plate or two plates which are moving in different directions. Kung baga sa vase, itong tinatawag natin na fault is yun yung may basag. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries. The first one is the continental-continental convergent plate boundary. The second one is the oceanic-oceanic convergent plate boundary. And the third one is we have the oceanic-continental convergent plate boundary. Sa continental-continental convergent plate boundary, so nangyayari ito kapag yung dalawang continental plates ay nag-collide sa isa't isa. So continental lithosphere, they are uh, low in density and very thick. Continental uh, lithosphere, they cannot subduct. 
Kaya naman, kapag yung dalawang continental plates ay nag-collide, so ang tendency niyan, they just smash together. Parang anong nangyayari dyan? Kunwari, meron kayong isang papel. So, anong nangyayari niyan, this is just like what happens when you put your hands on the two sides of a sheet of paper. Isang, isang sheet lang yan, ha? So, nilagay natin yung kamay natin dito and then bring your hands together. Yan. The material has nowhere to go but up. Kita nyo naman. Kumakit lang siya pataas, di ba? Yung earthquakes and the metamorphic rocks results from tremendous forces of the collision. Pero syempre, yung crust is too thick for magma to get through. Kaya ang resulta, walang volcanoes at continent-continent collision zone. If you're familiar with the Himalayas uh, mountain ranges, so these are the world's tallest mountains, di ba? They are forming as two continents collide. We also have this Appalachian Mountain, which are the remnants of larger mountain range. Ito, na-form yan dahil, itong range na to, na-form yan dahil sa titatawag nila na continent-continent collisions noong panahon ng Pangea. Okay, now, what can you see in this picture? Yan. Pwede nyong sabihin na it's an erupting volcano wherein the volcano is surrounded by an ocean. At nasa tuktok nito ay para siyang ano to, may snow doon sa tuktok ng volcano. Ano? Habang pinagmamasdan niya yung picture na to, isipin niyo na lang na we are traveling, we are making an adventure. Uh, papunta sa Western North America para lang hanapin natin ang convergent plate boundary kung saan ang oceanic crust ay nagsubduct sa ilalim ng oceanic crust. We have this term, Aleutian Islands. So, Aleutian Islands, this is a line of volcanoes and this is result of the oceanic-oceanic convergence. And oceanic-oceanic is another type of convergent plate boundary. Okay, this image, this is a satellite image of erupting volcano kung saan na napapaibabawan ito ng snow or ice and then it is surrounded by seawater. Kitang-kita nyo naman, di ba? So, this is a member of Aleutian Island. Now, tingnan natin kung saan ba ang boundary nito at yung kanyang volcanic arc. When two plates converge, what happens depends on the types of lithosphere that meet. At ito na nga, ang isang uri ng convergent plate boundary is kung saan yung dalawang oceanic plates ay nagtagpo. The features of a subduction zone where an oceanic plate subducts beneath another oceanic plate are the same as continent ocean subduction zone. An ocean trench marks the location where the plate is pushed down into the mantle. In this case, the line of volcanoes that grows on the upper oceanic plate is an island arc. You must remember in oceanic, oceanic, convergent plate boundary, if two plates that meet at a convergent plate boundary are both of the oceanic, uh, oceanic crust, the older, denser plate will subduct beneath the less dense plate. And another thing that you have to remember, the features of an ocean, ocean subduction zone are, are the same as those of the ocean continent subduction zone except that the volcanic arc will be set of islands known as the island arc. When it comes to the third type of convergent plate boundary, may tinatawag tayo na oceanic continent convergent plate boundary. So when it comes to an ocean continent convergent boundary, the denser oceanic plate, ano, pag sinabi natin denser, yung mas siksik, mas mabigat, mas makapal, ano, yung denser oceanic plate, siya naman yung tinutulak doon sa ilalim ng less dense continental plate. So, parang same manner lang din yan doon sa ocean-ocean boundary. This is the end of our lesson vlog about types of plate boundaries. I hope you learned something from this vlog. This is me once again, Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, mm, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 10. So, pagpapatuloy natin ang vlog natin sa Science 10. So, subaybayan mo lang ito. Oh, huwag na kalimutang mag-subscribe. 
And for our next lesson vlog, we will discuss the processes that occur along plate boundaries. Stay tuned on this channel. At pag-uusapan naman natin yan. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. At sana nga ay may natutunan kayo kahit konti. Bye and thank you. Sana mag-subscribe ka ha. Ayan, pakipindot na. Thank you. Oh, nag-subscribe ka na ba? Please subscribe. Thank you.